What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsport 7 in my BMW M4. So today we are trying something different. If you haven't noticed by the thumbnail, we are trying to give you a different perspective, basically through my eyes, of what I see when I am drifting in my sim rig uh, with the full cluster, with the digital cluster and everything up there, as well as basically what I'm seeing a little in a sense different style of a wheel cam for today's episode we but we are on maple valley going to try and uh link this entire course if we can that's the goal for today may not happen but we are going to try to do it um my voice will probably get a little bit muffled because i will be wearing the helmet um so if my voice sounds a little bit muffled through commentary this episode that's why i am going to be just testing this out for today see what you guys think about it and uh see how you guys like this style um maybe you'll continue to use it maybe we'll go back to the other style or change it up and you know every so often switch it between you know different styles so we're gonna go ahead and uh first and foremost we're gonna make sure our instrument cluster and everything is all set up i don't want to be moving all right so we're gonna have to come to a hard break right away and we're gonna pause it so our cluster is working, so we're good. So now we're gonna get the helmet on and uh, get the camera turned on and uh, see what we can do and see how this uh, see how this works out. So like I said, my voice may be slightly muffled when it comes to when I'm inside the helmet, but you know we uh, we're gonna go with it there. We're gonna get the camera turned on. As you can see, camera's good. You can see recording software over there, game there. This monitor is turned off currently because we don't need it. So. We're just gonna go full send. We're gonna resume it and uh, see how it goes. We got my full cluster going on down there as well. So we'll see if we can't try and link this track in our M4. I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to do it off the bat. It may take us one or two tries, but we're gonna try and link this whole track without coming out of drift points. Well, right there, we just came out of drift points. So, first left, not so good. Uh, definitely gonna probably try and get it better in the second lap. Get a feel for this M4. I did put the drift suspension on this M4. So like I said, we are just trying this, uh, this camera a little bit out today. I think it's kind of a cool view to see exactly, kind of from my eyes. As you can see, you can see the actual digital cluster down there right behind my wheel I honestly can't really see it right now because uh, the camera inside the helmet is kind of blocking that so I'm just going off of just flashes of lights and the uh, cluster on the side of the game so this M4 has definitely become uh, a very vicious car with this angle kit So we are gonna try and drift this whole track. Let's have that wall. So if you guys don't recognize this M4 paint, this M4 paint was a paint that I had on a couple cars in the Horizon. And I uh, brought it over here, got the energies all over the sides, the EVL all up front, with the gold and black coloring. So this camera is definitely kind of cool for you guys, I think, because you get the chance to see kind of my perspective you don't get to see the full wheel setup like the handbrake and the shifter i mean you see the handbrake a little bit but you do get to see the cluster that's conveniently placed right behind my NRG wheel so the only thing i don't like is probably the muffled voice sound that's going to be in here because of me being inside a helmet and i'm still using my snowball bike so and i keep glancing over at my recording software to make sure it's still going so you kind of guys are getting a feel of what it's like when I'm on the sim rig recording, in a sense, through my eyes. Of course, the camera is probably pointed a little bit further down to, for you guys to see the wheel setup more, whereas I'm looking above the wheel setup at my monitor. Ooh. I mean, I could do a full thing where you see exactly what I see, but then you won't really see the wheel. You'll just see the top of the wheel. and. That's not pretty cool. Because I'm sure you guys want to see the wheel and 
see the hand movements and the you know the rotation of the wheel and how what's going on with the wheels so that is why it is angled down a little bit it does get pretty warm inside this helmet though so that is one thing that this uh camera setup is not good for now i know other people like other youtubers that do wheel cams have them like on their chest but they're also using gopros i'm using hd cameras wired in through my mac so all the software and all the uh data is all together seamlessly i don't have to seam them together at any point and try and, and make sure they're not linked or unlinked at some point where like my steering input on the wheel setup is way off of what the car is actually doing in the game so that is why I do it the way I do it ah I lost that so but let me know what you guys think of this uh, camera style on the helmet um, like I said we're just completely locking it up like I said, I'm just trying it something different to give you guys a little bit of taste of what it's like inside me when I'm on the sim rig doing these videos for you guys. Other than the fact that I'm not staring down at my wheel. Like I said prior, I'm staring at my monitor that's behind the wheel. But alright, we're gonna we're gonna go for this lap. There we go. Lap starts. Oh my gosh, somehow we managed to stay on track. The Zen 4 is very forgiving in a sense, but I just gotta make sure that I sweep this enough to kick it like that, there we go. And not lose it. Kick it back. Trying to stay, Oh, get wrecked the grass. I mean, technically we're still drifting, so if we finish this lap with points, then that dirt drop was the only thing that prevented us from drifting this whole track in a drift and sort of that wall. Woo. So I think we're going to have one more attempt at that in this M4. So if you guys have liked what you've seen so far, once again, big thank you. If you guys can check out the 1000 subscriber episode, big thank you to you guys for reaching you know, 1,000 subscribers on the channel. A big thank you to everybody who comes back to the channel. Especially the guys have been here from, since pretty much day one. Uh, there was a comment on there from uh, another YouTuber saying, you know, I remember when you had 30. And I remember when I had 30. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't too long ago that I had, you know, under 100. And I was like, I'm so excited to hit 100. And now we're at 1,000. So now it's like, well, where do we go from here? Uh, well, we just keep going up. So this episode today is to get back on four to seven, get sideways in an M4 and give you guys a little bit of a different perspective. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like this perspective? Can't speak. Or do you like the other perspective where it's behind behind my shoulder where you can see the seat, the handbrake, the shifter, everything like that that gives you the full wheel setup? Or do you like seeing me more up close and personal with my uh, wheel and cluster back there because I think the other view you can't really see the cluster which is kind of a cool add-on because not many people have digital clusters that they're running so it's kind of a cool add-on for me because I do have it and it does work here on 4 to 7. All right so we started the lap over just tap there okay on the pavement well I said we're gonna have one more chance but one more chance is not going to help us here in the grass. So if you guys like what you've seen, you guys want to see more of this camera, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys like about it, what you dislike about it, or do you just like it in general? I can tell you right now, um, doing a full stream like this, a long, long, long broadcast of my normal live streams are usually like an hour or two. Ah, this wouldn't work out too well. One, I can't take a drink. Two. It's hot in this helmet. This is my helmet that I did race with numerous times, but 
today, this is the last year that it can be used, so it will be multi-purpose for something else because it is out of spec rating, so a new helmet for new season of racing and stuff will have to be purchased. So you guys know follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all the stuff in the description box below. Like I said, let me know what you guys think about this. This is a test run for you guys to see. So if you guys like it, dislike it, let me know. Your feedback is very important to me and it's very important to the content that I bring to you guys. If you guys, apparently I just got a money symbol which means somebody bought stickers from me. I wonder what stickers were bought. So we are gonna find out what stickers are bought but not here on the channel due to privacy of the purchaser. I'm gonna finish this last minute off and we are probably gonna end this episode off because I'm starting to sweat inside this helmet. So like I said, you know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll just in the description box below. Let me know what you guys think of this camera. Do you guys like it? Do you dislike it? Do you just hate it? Does it make me like every other YouTuber that does wheel cams? Because if that's the case, I don't want to do it. I want to kind of differ myself from them in a sense. So let me know what you guys think because uh, I don't like being the same or doing the same as everybody else. I like having my own style and my own, uh, my own flair. So until next time, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for coming back to another daily upload. More Torch Drift Beta coming back this week as well as some uh, new games to the channel probably and some old games breaking their way back to the channel. So until next time, guys, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.